Hi, so uh, welcome to probably my first video in uh, Elite Dangerous Odyssey uh, 4.0. Um, obviously, right now, lots of people are having trouble with um, getting into the game, either poor performance or, gra or weird graphical glitches. I found my fair share, um, you know, early days. So anyway, um, we've been having kind of fun. Uh, we're out in the middle of nowhere with the fleet carrier Esfahan, and uh, it's been a bit tricky because we don't have any equipment. So we went over to the Eagle sector, which is the nearest uh, uh, bases, which can sell equipment, and picked up a bunch of suits, and then came back. Um, yeah, so I, I found a ice world. I believe it's got a neon atmosphere. Uh, it's kind of dark and hazy. Um, yeah, so I'm flying over. It's also covered in geological activity. So I thought to myself, well, I'll go into one of the Europa lines. Um, and uh, this little valley here, you can see, is actually one of the minor uh, Europa lines. It's actually a Europa line which crosses another line, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, um, I wasn't really finding any geological activity, so I thought to myself, hey, you know, well, maybe there's a draw distance pop-in issue, and I'm just not seeing it because I'm flying too high or too fast. So I'll deploy my SRV, and hopefully, if there is geological activity, I can see it marked by minerals. And that's exactly what I see. So over to my right, or to the Cobra's left, um, I see some mineral deposit. I'm sort of hoping it's a, a geological activity. And uh, yeah, I, I think we will find what it is. It's a thermal. There we go. It's quite nice. So that's quite cool. Um, previously on Horizons, I don't think thermals are actually produced smoke. Um, I don't ever remember uh, seeing them do that. Um, yeah, so basically I carried on driving um, further up the road. I got to this very nice, like almost sheer uh, cliff face kind of object. You see some of the graphical things that people have been talking about. Um, everything seems to be. Uh, blocky into like these squares. Um, and I've also had the invisible like, or non rendering uh, surface features like box, which is, which is kind of interesting when you drive into a ghost. Um, yeah, so the point is, however, this little area got a whole bunch of geysers, and uh, so I think it's like three or four that I can see. One of them in front is particularly ferocious, so. Um, <laughs> I think everybody knows uh, what's coming next in the tradition of doing silly things. I think I shot the middle of the field of the I thought to myself, hmm, well, I've done this in the SRV, but I've never actually done it in the foot. So I'm curious about what would happen. And I think it's obvious what would happen is that you would get killed if you shot the field of the field. Shot the field of the field. Um, so, uh, I think I'm just going to put the wings off the board and see what happens. So, uh, what you can see is I get shot into the sky and shortly after i get a message about being too far away from my srv um so altitude not sure how high i get but um in terms of distance from my srv um yeah longer than 15 kilometers <laughs> um at this point i'm sort of thinking to myself hmm, how do i get back down other than gravity and survive and yeah, I'll let you just watch, and I'm uh, pretty sure you can also predict what's going to happen.
Shield activated. 